because the pink pigeon has been studied so intensively for decades now, we have loads of information about its behaviour, its ecology. Recently, we have genetic information for about half the world population. We have a contemporary pink pigeon genome and eight historic genomes. This is incredible. This is actually quite unique for an endangered species to have this wealth of information. And we want to take all of this information and develop a framework that we can use to help genetically rescue the pink pigeon. And it's our hope that it's this framework that then can be very easily transferred to other endangered species across the whole world, from the critically endangered Buru long frog or an Iberian lynx. Currently we have um, a pink pigeon genome assembled and we've been looking at, at what um, traits increase the pink pigeon's fitness. But what we really want to know is what genes underlie these traits. And in order to do that we have to annotate the genome. Particularly, a lot of things we're looking at are immune genes, and these are really, really variable, and not just between species, but also within a species. So in order to do this, we need to sequence something called the pink pigeon's transcriptome. And this essentially tells you what genes are being used, what they do, and allows you to work out where they occur within the genome. So in order to do this, we've actually been selected as one of five candidates to win free sequencing from Pacific Bioscience, who are a sequencing company and they would use their new ISOSeq methodology. And this is really exciting because the pink pigeon would be the first endangered bird species to have this cutting edge technology used. And it, hopefully it would help advance the field of conservation genetics. Um, so to that end, we'd really appreciate everyone's vote. Voting has begun. Um, hashtag save the pink pigeon, or you can find us through Google. And um, we'd really appreciate everyone's vote because for me personally, although it's really exciting to be at the forefront of this field, it, this could genuinely be a, a game changer for endangered species like the pink pigeon and could help save them because 400 in the whole world is, is really not a lot.